G'day, I'm John Walters and I'm the CEO at Rural Aid. It's hard to believe that another year is racing away from us. As we stop and prepare and get ready for the end of 2023, I wanted to take a brief moment to say thank you for following Rural Aid and being so supportive of our efforts to help our farming families and the rural communities that they call home. They say if you eat, then you're a partner in farming. And Australian farmers not only feed us all, but millions and millions of people right around the world. They face challenges the likes of which the rest of us don't encounter in, an, in our day to day. Droughts, bushfires, floods, market volatility, and a whole lot of red tape. There's no job in the world quite so unpredictable or volatile, but our hardworking and humble Aussie farmers get on with the job and they're the backbone of our nation, feeding and clothing us all, day in, day out. With that in mind, we believe it's our collective duty as consumers to stop and say thank you and to be supportive on an ongoing basis of the work that they do. We've all got something really important at stake and that's the health, the sustainability and our national identity at stake. So let's get in and, and rally around that great cause of our Aussie farmers. If it wasn't for you as part of the work that Rural Aid does, the, the support and assistance we've been able to get to those farming families in the last 12 months just simply wouldn't have been possible. And it's been a whole lot of support, millions upon millions of dollars delivered to those same families right across the country, whether it's in the Kimberley in WA, or down in Orbost in Victoria, or all points in between. We've delivered more than 4,000 bales of hay. We've replaced over 100 water tanks, some washed away to God knows where as a result of the floods. We've delivered countless other assistance. Our councillors have been engaged in 1,800 plus consultations, let alone the other work that they do in and around communities right across the country. And really importantly, we recognise how important that interaction or the interdependency is between farmers and communities. And we've invested almost half a million dollars across 60 communities right around the country. There's no way we can pre predict precisely what the challenge our farmers are going to encounter in the next 12 months might look like. Our country is so big and diverse that one group can be enjoying a bumper season. For others, it can be a drought or a flood or a fire that they might be encountering. What we know for sure is that these challenges are going to become more severe and more frequent. And it becomes all the more important for us to have an organisation like Rural Aid providing that support and helping safeguard the farming families and their futures. Looking ahead, we recognise how important it is to empower our farmers and communities um, to be more sustainable, to be more resilient, and it's your help and support that allows Rural Aid to do that. Sadly, based on current weather patterns, we're likely to be heading back to those dry times, back to the times that um, saw Rural Aid come to life in 2015. This is all the more reason for us to focus our efforts in helping our farmers prepare as best they can for that challenge that we know is coming. Thank you for the very important role that you continue to play in that journey that our farmers and their families um, live every day. Your donations, your messages of encouragement, your engagement with us right across the media spectrum, particularly on our Facebook and Instagram posts. Hope you'll continue to stand with us and our mates in the bush right throughout the remainder of 2023 and throughout 2024. The future may be uncertain. What it is certain is that we'll always be there to support our mates in the bush, our farmers and the communities that they live in.